two special performance events are coming to the Craner Center for the Performing Arts this spring. Yes, and joining us on the CI stage, Ian Hobson, Symphonia Dumb Camera Music Director, and Conductor Don Harris, Lyric Theater at Illinois Stage Director. Glad to have you both here with us. Let's first just talk a little bit about um, Symphonia, who you guys are, and what you guys do. Well, we are a chamber orchestra, which means that we don't have an enormous amount of people on the stage. Uh, and we've been in existence for 39 years. Wow. What do you enjoy most about chamber music? Because when you hear chamber music, it's kind of like, what exactly is that? Well, it can be anything we want. I mean, the good thing about this orchestra is that can, it can expand so we can have, you know, trombones and tubas and, and percussion instruments and anything that we need for some like, something like this, the stage productions. Uh, so it's very flexible and uh, we can do an enormous variety of music. It sounds like you guys have quite the roots here in our community being around since 1984, is that yeah, right? Yeah, and I've been here even longer. I, I joined the faculty in 1975. And you here are a stage director with the Lyric Theater, so what does that job look like? Well, I'm actually also a voice professor in the School of Music, and so what that looks like is that I direct Oh, two to three main stage productions a year at Cranert Center. And, and that one's coming up. And one's coming up. Yeah. In fact, this is maybe the fourth the collaboration fourth, fourth we've Gilbert had. Fourth Gilbert and Sullivan. Gilbert and Sullivan. Uh, we did the Mikado, we did the um, uh, HMS Pinafore, and we did Pirates of Penzance. So what is Gilbert and Sullivan? For those like myself who may not be familiar with with their well, story. there are two people from the Victorian era. So Arthur Sullivan was a very good composer in his own right, and W.S. Gilbert was the librettist who wrote these wonderful rhymes and lyrics. And so it's they're known as Gilbert and Sullivan, GNS, huh. and that's you know everybody knows that. Mm. And you know, and how, now I know it. Okay, well, you know it. Yes. I was going to say, and you know how opposites attract. So Gilbert was like off the wall. He had a temper. He was kind of crazy and Sullivan was very staid and reserved but together they complemented each other and wrote 14 comic operas that they are produced around the world even today. I kind of um, feel like we're Gilbert and Sullivan, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't I didn't know there was such a genre as comic yeah, opera. I don't think I would have known that either. Oh, it's sometimes known as operetta sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's really the precursor to musical theater. Okay. So in a long line of history, you know, the operettas, and then we went to like Showboat, and then we go to Lerner and Lowe, Rodgers and Hammerstein, blah, 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 up to modern day musical theater. Wow. But Gilbert is very witty. That's the, yes, that's the best very. thing about it. The music is complements that, but their lyrics are really wonderful. Well, can we talk about this show that we are putting on at the Craner Center? Um, is it? It's the oh it's shoot, the English painters, poets, and playwrights. Yes, that's yes. what we that's what we titled the whole program. The second half of the program is this. Uh, the Gilbert and Gilbert Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, okay. trial by jury. So, what's the first part? First part is uh, some English music. Um, one is the Portsmouth Point Overture by Sir William Walton. So it's a very lively kind of sea shanty type of uh, extravaganza overture. And then we have a very uh, beautiful piece uh, by Frank Bridge, which is based on a uh, quote from Hamlet. So it's a little bit more dour, a little bit more uh, exploratory, you know, different kind of music. And then we end with the London Suite by Eric Coates. Now, Eric Coates was one of the great BBC uh, uh, composers of light music. And so if you know Monty Python, yes. if you know the BBC News Hour and all these things, you get all of the theme tunes in there. It's fabulous. Okay, well, we're gonna get a little sneak peek um, coming up a little bit later on. What are we going to be seeing? Okay, so this whole musical play, I guess you would say, revolves around a bride who's basically been jilted at the altar. She brings this oh. husband to be to court to sue him. Mm. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's a breach of contract. For breach of contract. <laughs> okay. So like twists and turns. And of course, 
you know, there's supposed to be, there's not supposed to be any bias of any kind. Well, as soon as she walks in, all the men fall in love with her and they're all on her side. Oh my God. Okay. And, you know, the defendant is the evil one. And yeah. then I'm not going to say how things turn out. No. You just have Don't to come. Away. You'll have, have to come and see. <laughs> okay. Who is this show good for? What is it family friendly or is Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Yes. I okay. was in, in my high school, I, or maybe even before my high school. I was like 12 years old. And, and I participated in the production of this. Oh, that's this was cool. In England, this was very popular. It always oh, very happened. Very good. Well, and it's it's always, good for everybody. Yes, like all ages. Yeah. All great ages. to introduce a little culture to yeah, our little absolutely. young ones to sure. appreciate some great chamber music and, yeah. and, and some comic fun. opera. Yeah. Very yeah. good. And we're almost to our 40th year, so this is going to be yes, a great one. next season is Symphonia's 40th season. Okay. Well, we are looking forward to that performance coming up. In the meantime, if you want to learn a little bit more about Symphonia and all the fun things they're doing, including this upcoming show. Maybe you want to get your tickets now. Um, we'll connect you over at CILiving.tv. All right, still ahead 